Okay guys, this is Marshall coming to you to explain how to do my Google Slides uh, for telling time. So in the assignment that you see posted about time review number one, it should have this PowerPoint slide and also your math review. It's about 10 to 12 questions. Um, so these are the two things that are going to be due today, uh, what day? April 6th. So, so far I've posted a problem of the day my lesson, brain pop, and here's your fourth video. Okay, this is number four to watch to explain how to do the Google Slides. I know we've done it in the past before, but this is just a quick review of how I want you to do uh, my Google Slides. So, once you click on the assignment, you'll click on Google Slides and you should be able to see this page. So, there's only five slides in this whole thing. All right, so if you're doing it on a computer, I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it. If you are on a phone or tablet, listen carefully. You are going to have to download the Google Slides app to your phone or tablet in order to edit this. Okay, so ask your mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, whoever adult you are with to download the Google Slides app. And you're going to have to open this using the Google Slides app in order to edit. Okay? So, I shouldn't have 50 of y'all calling me being like, I don't know open it it won't let me edit it should let you edit just like a Google Doc you need the Google Doc app in order to edit you need the Google Slides app in order to edit my Google slide okay so get that app if you are on a phone or tablet if you're on a computer like me easy breezy okay so like I said there's only about five slides one of them is a title slide so really it's only four so let me go over it real quick what I want you guys to do all right so your first slide is going to be tell me the two different types of clocks. As you know, an analog clock and a digital clock. Click and drag the definition of where it's supposed to go. Okay, click and drag it. All right, the definition and also the picture. Click and drag the picture of where it's supposed to go. All right. For this slide, reading the clock, it says drag the green boxes to finish the sentence. So the big hand shows us hours or does the big hand show us minutes? Click and drag and put the green box where it's supposed to go. All right. For time expressions, now there's one little one I've yet to teach you. All right. It's five. So five after. So if it's five after eight, it means it's 8.05. Or if it's 7.55, it's five minutes to eight. Same principle. It's just five instead of quarter. But I think y'all can pretty much get the gist of it. So I'll do one of them with you. I need to find, let's see, what's this one? This one's the minute hands at the five, it looks like, and the hours at the two. So I would probably say this is five after two. So let's see if I can find the one, five after two. So I'm gonna take five after two and put it on top, okay? So there's one of my examples of five. I'll do one more with you. So let's see this one. Ooh, my hour hands past the six, and my minute hand's at the 45, so that means it's a quarter to something. My next hour is seven, so it's a quarter to seven. So let's see if I can find quarter to seven. I could also say till seven. All right, it's a quarter to seven. So you're gonna do that for all of these beautiful clocks. You're gonna click and drag where it's supposed to go. Okay? And same for this one down here, you're going to type which one it is. So I'll give you an example. I have now made the text box black so you can't delete them like you guys always seem to do. But if you somehow miraculously click on it and press delete, go up here to where it says text box, you can make a new one. Click, drag, make a new one, okay? So I'm gonna make my new one. Okay, so I'm gonna read the clock. So I have my minute hands at the six, so it's half past, what hour is it half past? It's half past six. So in here, I would double click until you see the blinking cursor and type half past six. All right, so like I said, double click until you get the blinking cursor to be able to delete. All right, if you forgot, go make me a new text box. We're going to be learning. Patience is a virtue that we're all going to have to learn. Okay? So those are the only things. My definitions, 
my time expressions of click and drag and then remember double click till you get my cursor to type um, which expression it is okay questions message me let me know I can answer them but this shouldn't be too painful guys all right and if you got questions good luck it's not too hard I'll see you guys later bye